Welcome to another Netflix movie review, guys. And today, we are reviewing the Old Dads, yeah, from Netflix. And the Old Dads stars Bill Burr, Miles Robbins, and Katie Alston, and many, many more. And it was written by Bill Burr himself, and he also acts in his own movie. And if anybody doesn't know who Bill Burr is, Bill Burr is a modern-ish comedian. He is raunchy, no holds barred, in your face, funny. And how does he do in his own movie? Well, <clears throat> I was really hoping to enjoy this movie. There's some parts I do enjoy, and there's a lot of things that kind of just fall flat under the rug. So let's go with the positives. The positives are Bill Burr, Miles Robbins, and Katie. Yeah, and Katie, who plays Bill Burr's wife, Jack. So those three performances alone kind of saved the movie, in my opinion. We all know how Bill Burr is. I think Miles Robbins was cool being that snarky, new-aged boss telling the old dads what to do and stuff like that. Oh, he gets his just, don't you worry. And then obviously Katie, who plays Lila in the movie, had an outstanding performance. I enjoyed her too. There's a lot of humor in this movie. And by humor, I mean a lot of kind of dried up, not your normal humor for today's modern era. This kind of shows the uh, dark side of being a Gen X-er, if you can tell. Bill Burr does a very good job of portraying that in this film. And other than those slight little positives, the movie falls flat after that. I mean, so basically the storyline of old dads is basically these old fathers losing their company, getting into trouble, can't figure out what they want to do, and then they end up at a strip club, and then everything just goes down for, downhill some more. The two, Bill Burr and one of his friends, are married with kids. Bill Burr's character ends up having some issues with his wife. Goes through a downward spiral, yada, yada, yada. The typical normal stuff with marriages. And if you're not really married, I don't know if this type of story and or movie will resonate with you. <sighs> For me, on the other hand, I I enjoyed it for what it was. I'm not paying for this type of movie, so I can't really complain all that much. I will say this. I'm giving Old Dads a solid... I'm giving it a solid six. If you're bored one day and you need something to flip on the old Netflix... Go ahead and give this a, at least give this a one-time watch. I will recommend this if you're a hardcore Bill Burr fan. Or if you're hardcore into marriage disaster type of movies. I will recommend it if those fit your two categories. If they don't fit your two categories, I still say give it a watch at least a one-time viewing. So there you go, guys. That is my review of Old Dads. Yeah. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to give a grumpy old dad and hit that like button and comment down below something grumpy an old boomer Gen X dad would say. And if you are into Netflix movies, movies in general, my dumbass or my over-the-top energy, you better hit that subscribe button, boy. I'm waiting. Did you hit it? Did you hit it yet? 
I swear, if you do not hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna come to your house! I need to calm down. Please hit that subscribe button. And for all things other shenanigans wise, I'm gonna leave my review of Bill Burr's latest comedy special somewhere over here. I'm out of here!